This is Ford Transit with an engine that surges when it's cold. So what I'm doing is checking the fuel meter and valve on the fuel pump. And I've got my scope set up here. You see the measurements there? That's what we're seeing with her. The ground side, it's like it's a controlled ground. It doesn't, you can't shut that out. So it's not a bad ground anyway. Given that a ground, thinking that you have a bad wire and a gr gr bad ground connector will just make it cut out. That must be controlled. It goes back to the ECU, and the ECU controls the ground, controlling the current flow. You see here, just duplicating itself in the bottom one. This is the current, looking at the current, and then the ground, and the on and off. So it's pulse wave, giving it a pulse down power. Uh, the ground is also being controlled by the look of that. Like I say, if you give that a cool ground, it'll just stop the car working. Looking for some kind of a dropout anywhere for an indication why we need to change this. Not seeing any at the moment, but the van is working fine just now. It's only first thing in the morning and I'm not able to get to the van first thing in the morning to check it. So. I'm just going to go ahead and change the valve because he's got one anyway. It goes, it goes right in there on the pump. You see where the wires were. So I'll go ahead and change it. I don't know if I'll see a difference. I think I've got to code it as well. And I'll get some feedback and know whether it's helped him or not. Helped him or not. Hopefully so. Anyway, I managed to get a capture out of it. Another chance to use my scope. Yeah, that's what they're looking like when they're both the zeros are at the same place. And the voltage side of it is dropping to minus one volts. There's a minimum there. It's going below there and going up to 15. Ground side's fluctuating on the same thing. I'll bring up, I'll bring up the amps and see how that suits. Put that up there as well. See the amps almost follows that perfectly. Now what I've done is change the time so that it's a lot more, not detail, but a lot more repetition. So it fills up the screen more. Now I've froze the picture and I'm going to try and zoom in. If I can figure out how to do it. That's it. This gives you an idea of how easy this is and we can move it along however many steps we want. So that's quite good versus my earlier hand tech when I did that. It just made the image that you had and made it even more blurry. But this one as you zoom in it really, really helps it. You can see it clearly. You can zoom back out again just by clicking that and left clicking on here. I'll take it back to where it was. Which is a good feature that I couldn't do before, that the older Huntex scope that I had wasn't up to that. Uh, this is the new one that I've got now. I can get that the right way up for you, but. I'll probably switch my screen on the camera so it's all side on there. It's a lot better. Works great. A lot of features that the other one didn't do. We're done. Each pressure relief valve has its own unique current and fuel quantity characteristics. So the PCM uses a fuel injection pump learning procedure to learn these characteristics. The fuel injection pump learn is completed in two stages. First stage performs temporary learning, second stage performs permanent learning. Let's see what we do now. Start the engine. It's kind of like what we did before. Okay, continue that. Continue. 